what is it about the actual substance that's bad? Because it's man-made, but fermented foods are fermented by humans and they're crazy good for our gut microbiome. So why is it, I want to understand why it's bad, not just, I, I know they found all sorts of things in studies, but like it's, it's actual, like it comes, like tequila comes from the, from a plant and they have to ferment it. Why is that, what happens in that process that makes alcohol bad, I guess is what I'm really interested in. So um, tequila actually is the least bad alcohol, interestingly. Um, oh, perfect. I'd like, I like margaritas. <laughs> Tequilas are like, yes, let's do this. All right. right. Would you ladies like to guess which are the most bad? And when I say bad, Mm. I mean in terms of toxins, number of toxins and the effect on the body. Do you guys want to have a guess? Scotch. What would you say? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Something with a, yeah, I would would think one of those, what do they say? Heart, they call it a hard alcohol as opposed to wine and beer. But am I wrong? The answer is actually there's two tied red wine and beer. Oh, no. so the oh, it's not hard, not okay. hard alcohol. Isn't that, isn't no. that right? Justin? Oh, wow. No. That's- red wine, red wine has the most toxins in it equal mm-hmm. equally with beer. Okay. So tell us why there's toxins. If it comes <clears> from <throat> grapes and it's fermented, which is a lot of things, do they add toxins or is it just so concentrated? That's really hard for our um, body. Mm-hmm. To it's get it's it. more the latter. It's so concentrated. Now here's, here's the thing, right? What happens when you drink alcohol? Well, straight away, the liver goes to work. Now, why are you, you you're, imagine the analogy of you, you're clocking in for work. You know, let's go back 30 years and you had to clock in for work. You were working on a factory, maybe. You clock in, start at 9 a.m., you clock out, you finish at 5 p.m. Now, what most people do, most people, is they work throughout the day and then they have a drink at night, right? Seven o'clock, mm-hmm. eight o'clock, have it with dinner. Now, what you're essentially doing then is you are clocking in for work. You're clocking the body in for work at a time where you want the body already have clocked out. In fact, you're better off drinking alcohol for breakfast than you are anywhere close to bedtime as it relates to sleep quality, because any amount of alcohol close to sleep time, this is what happens. You're pouring toxins into the body. The body goes, I'm not supposed to have these toxins. The liver now goes to work to try to get it out of the body, but you don't want the body working at a time when you are sleeping. You want your body sleeping. You want, you, you want your body resting. But most people in the modern world are like time to clock in for work again. And they wonder why they go to sleep. They can fall asleep. Okay. Because they have the drink, but the quality of their sleep is then severely compromised. So, I mean, you may have noticed I'm wearing an, uh, an aura ring. Um, we have many clients who, in about a week or two before they join us, when they continue, when they're still drinking, they will track their sleep quality with the aura ring. And then they'll stop drinking and they'll track that for the first two weeks. It is remarkable, the change, like the sleep quality improves dramatically and noticeably when you stop feeding it, those toxins. Just another interesting point as well. Um, Do you know that you can take a strand of your hair, Dotsie, and we can Mm -hmm. put it under a microscope Uh, in seven days, and we'll still be able to know that you had a glass of wine. The toxins Mm -hmm. stay in the body for seven to 10 days, and you can see it under a microscope, a strand of hair, that those toxins Mm -hmm. will show up, which is fascinating. Mm -hmm. That's how long a toxin stays in in the body. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah. And uh, just- what about you mentioned your skin and your vitamin D levels? Of, oh, you mentioned your skin today, and I read you, you said something about vitamin D levels will change when you stop uh, drinking. Um, I'm not sure. Did I hear that correctly? So, so here's what happens. What? Let me ask you this question: What's the body's largest organ? Skin. Skin, exactly. Yeah. So when you stop drinking alcohol, well, what happens is the skin starts to go ah. Okay, good. Now the skin uh, returns to the way that nature always intended it to be. Mm -hmm. They did a study also out of the UK uh, about seven or eight years ago now, uh, mid 2000 and teens. And it showed that people who stopped drinking for 10 days compared to those who continued drinking, the people who stopped drinking for 10 days had 30 to 35% less visible um, wrinkles and crow's feet 
around around their eyes. They also did another test where they took equally aesthetically attractive faces and uh, let's uh, 50% of them had one drink per night for a couple of weeks. The other 50% didn't drink at all. And they asked people to look at these random faces and, and, and asked them, you know, who were the more attractive looking people. And what the study showed was that those who were not drinking were unanimously uh, voted as being more attractive, at least just aesthetically. Now, why is this? Because alcohol shows up in the skin. Alcohol dehydrates the skin. And when you de dehydrate the skin, the skin becomes weathered. Um, sometimes it becomes, you know, flaky and in extreme cases. Just a warning, you do seem to get better looking when you stop drinking alcohol, at least that's what the, the feedback I certainly got when I stopped drinking alcohol. And many of our clients tell us is that when they stop drinking alcohol and they have stopped for say two months, 30 days, 40 days, six, 60 days, people start to go, wow, you look great. Have you been working out? Like what's going on? Wow. You just, you've got a glow to you. And I always share this with women particularly because women tend to spend a lot more money on moisturizers than men do. And I say to, the, to most women, you can throw away your fancy Neutrogena's and Hollywood sponsored moisturizers, just drink more water and stop drinking alcohol and your, your skin will literally glow.